Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about Laplace transformation. So now I want to show you how to answer. We can use about Laplace transformation in here. So we have the formula this is second derivative of y. We need to transform into h square capital F of h minus s multiplied by f of number 0 minus first derivative f of number 0 in here. The second one. We need to transform into capital F of h. The number 0, there is nothing we can change. So this one, we need to transform into this one. This one we transform into capital F of H. Now, we have the conditions. This one, number 0, we put in here. This one, negative number 5, I will put in here. So negative, negative, we have positive number 5. And now we need to expand this one. This one number 0. So this one we have for H square capital F of H plus number 20. So number 20, I will put on the right. Capital F of H, we can do about factorization. Next, we divide both sides by this one. This one we can use about partial functions. So we know that for h square minus 25, that is about 2s minus number 5 multiplied by 2s plus 5. So we can use about partial fractions. So we put a over 2s minus number 5 and b over 2s plus 5. Now we do common denominator. So capital A is, this one is missing about 2s plus 5. So capital A multiplied by 2s plus 5 about this one. It is missing about 2s minus number 5, so capital B multiplied by 2s minus number 5. So we need to arrange based on the terms of h. So we have 2a plus 2b, and the next one we have 5a minus 5b. So Number 2 multiplied by A, 2 multiplied by B, 5 with A, negative number 5 with B. So we see that we just have only negative number 20. That means 5A minus 5B equals to negative number 20. We don't have H, so 2A plus 2B equals to number 0. And now we create the system of equations.
So we need to find the solutions of A and B. So A equals to negative number 2. B equals to number 2. So we put A and B go back in here. Now, we need to use about inverse Laplace transformation. So, we have the formula in here. So, we have 1 over h minus 8. That should be about e to the power of 80. So, in this situation, we need to analyze about this one. So, we see that this one we can do about factorization by number 2. Similar for the second one. So number 2 and number 2 we simplify. So If we use about inverse Laplace transformation, we will have like this. So negative number 1, we don't care. So we just care about 1 over h minus 8. 8 in here is about 5 over 2. So we have negative e to the, to the power of 5 over 2t. And the second one. This one we have positive 5 over 2. That means A equal to negative 5 over 2. And that's about E to the power of negative 5 over 2T. This is the end. Thank you for watching. Here is about the full answer of the question in here.